Hello, so this is chapter 13, Misuses of Inhalants and Aerosols. A brief, a brief history of inhalant use. Use of inhaled compounds to alter perception goes back as far as ancient Greece, with the oracle of, at Delphi. In the 19th century, the recreational use of anesthetic gases became popular. And the 20th century saw the development of many products that could be abused through inhalation. The media did not take note of it until the 1950s and 1960s, with the advent of glue sniffing. In many third world countries, inhalants are used to dull hunger and achieve euphoria. The pharmacology of inhalants. Inhalants are a range of compounds that share a common method of abuse. An inhalant is absorbed through the lungs and passed into the general circulation from there. The most common inhalants are simple carbon-based molecules such as benzene, toluene, hexane, acetone, butane, and ethyl chloride. Little information is available about the effects of the compound abuse by inhalation at the cellular level, but these compounds do cross the blood-brain barrier. What effects the effect? The effects of the inhalant being used is dependent on the chemical being used, the intensity of exposure, the body size of the user, the individual's expectations for the effects of the compound, the setting in which the inhalant use takes place, the individual's general health, state of health. Scope of the problem of inhalant misuse. Approximately 9% of the U.S. population has misused an inhalant at least once. In the United States, more boys than girls abuse inhalants, but the ratio varies from study to study. Many users do not see inhalants as a drug and do not recognize the risk of their use. The mean age of first-time inhalant use is 13 years. Children as young as 3 years have been found to use inhalants. Four patterns of inhalant abuse are as follows. Transient social use, chronic social use, transient isolated use, and chronic isolated use. Are inhalants a gateway drug to further drugs of abuse? 23% of cocaine users had a history of prior inhalant use. People who admit to a history of inhalant abuse were 45 times more likely to engage in the practice of self-injected drug abuse. Individuals who use inhalants and marijuana were 89 times as likely to have used injected drugs as the general population. <laughs> Methods of inhalant misuse. Directly from the container, sniffing or snorting, compounds are poured into a bag, which is then held over the head and nose, which is bagging. Compounds are poured into a rag, which is held over the mouth and nose so that air can be inhaled along with the compound, which is huffing. Spraying directly from aerosol cans into the nose or mouth. Compounds that are heated and the released fumes are inhaled. Subjective effects of inhalants. Initial effects begin within seconds to minutes and last for approximately 45 minutes. Effects include the following. Euphoria and sense of intoxication, altered voice, altered state of awareness, hallucinations of fa or fantasies, feelings of invincibility and loss of inhibitors, numbness and sense of spinning around. Complications induced by inhalant misuse. Dependent upon substance abuse, method of abuse, level of substance exposure, and frequency of abuse. Several different categories of complications. Cardiopulmonary symptoms, central nervous sy symptom, symptom, system systems, yeah. psychiatric symptoms, and other complications. Refer to table 13.3 for each list, which I think is a reference to the book. <sighs> inhalant misuse and suicide. There is a strong correlation between inhalant misuse, depression, and suicidal behavior. Depression is a common consequence of inhalant misuse, and depression is highly linked to suicide. Some deaths may be suicides, and others may be accidental due to the method of inhalant misuse. Um, for example, accidental asphyxiation. Aesthetic, anesthetic misuse. Um, nitrous oxide blocks glutamine, the main um, 
excitatory neurotransmitter from NMDA receptor sites, commonly used in dental and medical offices. Um, must apply over pressure oxygen to prevent hypo hypoxia. Low doses, feelings of euphoria, giddiness, hallucination, and loss of um, inhibitions. High doses, loss of con consciousness, and possible death. The misuse of nitrates. Different forms of nitrates are commonly misused. Amhal nitrate, used in certain heart conditions. Butyl nitrate and isobutyl nitrate. Users believe will prolong um, orgasm if inhaled immediately before orgasm occurs. Misuse of these gases can lead to a variety of problematic side effects, as well as suppressing immune system functions. Inhalant misuse in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition. So you have inhalant use disorder, inhalant intoxication, other inhalant induced disorders, unspecified inhalant related disorders. Only about 10% of those who misuse inhalants develop a tolerance to the compound. And children will conduct with conduct disorder or antisocial personality disorder at high risk for misuse or addiction. So that's it for this video. Thanks for listening.